Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi, and today we're taking a look at new and upcoming releases in the luxury beauty community. The majority of my information is coming from two main sources on Instagram. We have WZ Beauty and Amit Beauty Talk, and I have links to their Instagram pages down below in the description box, so please check them out and give them a follow if you aren't already. Thank you so much for all of the information and the photos. A couple of my pieces of information, they are directly from the brand websites, and um, thank you so much to, you know, those of you who share releases like this with me. So one of the viewers actually shared with me the Shantikai Wild Mustang collection. So this is coming soon. I was not aware that they had photos of this up yet, but it is available for uh, you know viewing on the Shantikai website. So you can see the products and you can sign up for notifications for when it will be available for purchase. And in the Wild Mustang collection, we have four of the new luminescent eyeshade compacts, although two of them are actually gonna be velvet matte eyesh eyeshades. So we have the shade Palomino, which looks to be kind of like uh, a warm beige with a touch of peach in it. And then we have Bay, which looks more like a reddish chestnut. And then we have two of the traditional luminescent eyeshades. So these are gonna be your shimmery ones. We have Roan and Pinto. And Roan, again, looks to be a bit more, like has a bit more of a reddish tint to it. Pinto uh, looks perhaps a little bit more taupey. In addition, we have two lip veils coming out. So recently they've been doing a lot of lip shakes in the square lip veil packaging. This time we are looking at lip veils. So these are going to be a lighter, more sheer finish than a lip shake. They're not quite as glossy. We have Wild Begonia and Laurel. Wild Begonia looks to be a bit more, like it has a little bit more mauve in there. And Laurel is gonna be more of your like neutral pink. So this collection, you know, I think it looks like a really nice collection. You've got some great fall staples in here or everyday staples. And I will probably, I'll pick up some of this. I'm not sure exactly how much. I might end up picking up the whole thing. Um, but you know, we'll see. I'm still a little disappointed with Shantikai because this is their 25th anniversary year and I'm still just not seeing anything like super wow. So these look like a, a really, this looks like a really beautiful fall collection, but I'm still not seeing any sort of wow anniversary effects, if that makes sense. So, um, you know, I'm still a little undecided on this. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this collection. If you could share those down below in the comments, that would be great. Another uh, piece of information, this is the Burberry Kisses Liquid Matte Lipsticks. These are coming soon to the US, I hope. I'm not 100% sure on that. They are available in some other countries and uh, there appear to be 13 shades on the website. And I'd be interested in picking up a couple of these. I'm definitely interested in trying those. So let's move on to the information I have from WZ Beauty. And we're gonna start off with the Dior Fall 2023 collection. This is due to be released on July 28th. And we have, you know, three main products. There's a new Rouge Blush in 537, Quince in 523 and 683, and two nail polishes in 415 and 746. And the nail polishes have just recently been redone. I did not pick up any of the new formula. Honestly, I haven't been incredibly thrilled with the new reformulations from Dior. So I'm leaning against picking up the Dior Fall Collection. Now, uh, showing you the original pictures of the Dior Fall Collection that were released. And now, you know, WZ Beauty just today, right? While I'm filming this, she, or he, sorry, uh, he uploaded a photo on his stories with some more in real life photos of the Dior Fall Collection. You can see that the blush looks drastically different. It's really much more of a soft beige shade. So I'm kind of curious to see what's gonna be launching, but I am leaning against this collection at the current time. Now, the Chanel Fall Collection, we have the Equinox de Chanel. That's going to be the name of this collection. And we have, you know, a couple of, we have a new product here. So the Ombra Premier Libra. These are your loose powder eyeshadows. I'm curious about these. I will pick one up, at least one, 
to uh, try these out because I, I am very curious about them. But I'm, I've used loose eyeshadow. I used to use it for years. I went through like a, I, I had a period of time where I w was kind of dealing with some like sensitivities and issues with my skin and so forth. So I did pure mineral, mineral makeup. And at that time, pretty much everything was a loose powder. And so I used them a ton. These containers, honestly, you know, they look like they might not be the easiest to use. Um, so I'm not sure about about the loose powder eyeshadows. So I'll pick up one or two of them to test out. I'm looking at maybe shade 402 and possibly 404 or 414. So I'll probably get two of those to test. We also have new shades of the Rouge Coco Bloom and they haven't released new shades of this, I think since they launched the line uh, a couple of years ago. So I'm glad to see more shades, but honestly, none of these shades are calling to me. I'm looking for like soft, cool tone neutrals and pinks and so forth. Still nothing in that range for me. So uh, I think I'm gonna pass on the lips. I'm gonna pass on the nail polishes. And then we do have two new blushes. These look like they are in the oversized compacts. So we'll have to see. Um, but we have 797, which is going to be a beige shade, and 798. I think the 798 would probably work better on my complexion. So that's probably the one I'll pick up. It looks to be a really pretty, you know, soft berry. 797 looks more to be like a peachy beige. And if you look closely at the swatches, you know, it's hard to tell um, because they look pretty matte in the pan. But on the swatches, I see a little bit of a sheen. I don't think they look glittery at all, but I do think that they're not gonna be a flat matte finish. So this is due out, the collection's due out August 4th. So uh, yeah, you know, we'll see. Chanel, they change their dates all the time. So we'll see if it really comes out then or not. But um, I am curious about that. So I'll be picking up a few pieces from that collection, but I'm, I'm still just really waiting for the new team's uh, stuff to drop next year. So uh, yeah, you know, I, I kind of mixed thoughts on that one. The Givenchy Fall Collection. So I have already shared the lip products from here. So we're not, we're not really going to talk about those. They're available on the Givenchy US website right now, except for the lightest shade. And, you know, that one sold out like right away. So I'm hoping they restock. But, you know, Givenchy, they have just released their loose powder blushes that actually came out two years ago everywhere except the U.S. and Canada, essentially. They are now in the U.S. Uh, so they're at Sephora and the Givenchy website at this time. You know, we have a, a new limited edition blush shade that is part of the Givenchy Fall Collection. It's number 14, Violet Tool. So typically when Givenchy releases these limited edition blush shades, you know, we don't get those because they haven't had that product here in the US. So I'm really hopeful that now that we have that, they will be bringing that here. It's actually not due to launch until August 4th, August 5th, something like that. So, you know, I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for it. And I'm not sure if that's a, a US launch date. It's actually an Asia launch date, but I don't know if it's gonna be like universal. So we'll see, but I'm, I'd am i really love to get that Violet Tool blush. And another item here from Chanel, we have the 31 La Rouge, which comes in 12 shades. And um, you know, you can buy a set for 500 euros. Lipsticks are 150 euros each. It is due to launch in September. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a worldwide launch or not. Um, I'm actually kind of disappointed by this because I feel like this clear acrylic packaging looks kind of cheap. I don't know what it's gonna feel like in person, but a lot of times those like acrylic compacts, they scratch pretty easily and then it's gonna look beat up pretty quickly. And for such a high price tag, um, you know, I'm not sold on that. So I think I'm gonna pass on those. I, I'm honestly a little disappointed by those. Uh, I think they could have done something a little bit more luxe if they were gonna charge that price point personally. I am curious about the formula and you can see an up close of the lipstick right here. And again, these are from WZ Beauty. But um, yeah, you know, I don't think it's gonna be worth it for me. There are so many great lipsticks that I love that, yeah, they're pricey too, but they're still not at that 
price point. So, uh, you know, curious to see more about it. Is it going to be refillable and so forth? I'm thinking maybe it is based on the way this set is designed. It looks like you've got, you know, a couple of refills, but one case. So I don't know. We, we'll, we'll have to see how that actually is once they release a little bit more information. But in this set, you can see you definitely have one of the acrylic cases. You have, you know, this, um, you know, faux leather, silver lipstick case. And then it looks like there are two refills. So I don't know if this will be a set of two or three because there could potentially be one already in the case, but mm, I, I don't think it's going to be worth it for me. Now, moving on to information from Amit Beauty Talk, actually this first collection here, uh, the Suku 20th Anniversary Collection, I have seen this all over the place. So, um, you know, the photos I'm using here are from Amit Beauty Talk, but there are a lot of like swatches from some uh, other websites and so forth, like I think Bikicom or Bikicom and so forth, where they, they've actually had a little bit more detail. And uh, I have been posting things like that in my stories on Instagram when I see them. And actually in my beauty talk credits, WZ Beauty for these particular photos. So just something to note there. Now, this is Suku's 20th anniversary year, and I think they are doing a phenomenal job. So much better uh, way to celebrate their anniversary than what shantaka has been doing, in my opinion. Uh, so I'm very happy to see this collection coming out. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a completely separate collection or if this is gonna kind of be like their holiday collection as well. But we have three face and eye, or three face compacts that are coming out. And you can see we've got different colors here. There's like a beige, there's like a soft rose and a soft lavender. I kind of want all three of them. I mean, they look stunning. I love the design on them. And yeah, I, I think it's gorgeous. You can see that all of the packaging for this collection, it looks to be like a soft matte brushed gold. And so that's, again, something a little different from their traditional black compacts. So excited about that. Then we have uh, two face and eye palettes. And, you know, I, I'm i particularly drawn to the second one that has the rosier shades. But you can see that the in the eye quad portion of it, the top right shade in each is going to be a cream formula. I'm guessing it's going to be the same as the cream Tone Touch Eyes that came out earlier this year. And then you've got some, you know, matte and shimmer eyeshadows. And then there's a cheek shade. I'm definitely interested in these. I mean, honestly, it's Suko. I'll probably pick up everything in this collection. Um, but I'm definitely more interested in the one on the right. There's also a lip kit that come, that's coming out with four different lip products. So it looks like we are going to have the sheer matte lipstick, the new lip gloss, and this is actually a different shade. There was one that came in the lavender packaging, shade 101, which was limited edition before. This is shade 104. So it is gonna be different. I'm hoping it's more pigmented than the 101. And then we have the, um, Oh, what are they called? Not the lip fog, but the, the shinier one. Let me check. Uh, the lip glow. I don't know why that was so hard for me to think of, but uh, the lip fog was on their list of discontinued products. So I'm guessing that this will be a lip glow and the fact that the bottom portion of it looks translucent and not, you know, um, more of a matte finish, then I am guessing that is gonna be our lip glow product. So that's the first one in the photo there. And then it's hard to tell from this photo whether we have a matte or a moisture rich. Let me see if I can figure that out real quickly. So enlarging the photo, it looks like it's in the glossy packaging. So I'm guessing it's a moisture rich lipstick, but it could be the way that the photo has been edited and so forth as well. So it's a little hard to tell, but you know, I'm definitely interested in getting this. These are all new shades for each of those items. And let's go ahead and move on to, oh, by the way, this is due out September 15th. So definitely can't wait for that. But right now I'm really focusing on the Suku Fall Collection that's coming out, which by the way is on my eyes. I have the blush on in 143. So I have the 128 quad, the 143 blush on right now. I love it. And next we have the Bobbi Brown face tint. This is actually out now, it's SPF 15. I was gonna skip it, but then I decided to just go ahead and pick it up. So I did order that and that will be coming soon. I also ordered the new Hourglass one, so I will be comparing those. And from Valentino, we've got a few new things coming. 
first in September, uh, September 15th is the Asia uh, release date. But we have the Valentino Go Cushion Glow Foundation with SPF 50 and PA++++. So that's actually really great sun protection. This is supposed to be full coverage. It's supposed to give you, you know, kind of a glowy finish. Uh, it's supposed to have like, I think, skincare ingredients and so forth in there as well. But honestly, I'm really intrigued by this. I love the, um, I love the concept. I think I... Yeah, I, I'll pick this up if I can get this easily. If it's something that I have to special order from another country, I'll probably pass on it. I'm still loving the clay to poe cushion, which is what I'm wearing. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, this Valentino cushion foundation, I think, looks really, really nice. Also from Valentino, this is coming out sooner. This is July 25th. So yeah, we're looking at, what is that next week? Uh, so we have the Liquid Rosso two-in-one soft matte liquid lipstick and blush. So it's a lipstick and blush combo product. There are 12 shades coming out. You can see there's a really beautiful like purpley shade. I can't wait to get that. I'm definitely picking up a few shades of this. Um, I cannot wait to try this out. I think it looks gorgeous. I will probably use these more so on the lips than the cheeks, but I'll definitely test it both ways. Now from Givenchy, uh, September 1st is the Japan release date. We have the Rouge Entity Velvet. So this is a new lip product from Givenchy. These are gonna be the liquid velvet lipsticks. We've seen a lot of these coming out recently. You know, the Valentino, the Lisa Eldridge. Um, you know, we've, we've seen a lot of these recently. And I'm very curious to see how these will compare. You can see in the photos here, you can kind of see a comparison of how big the packaging is gonna be compared to the, their regular bullet lipsticks. And there are gonna be 12 shades of this. So I definitely wanna test this out. We also are gonna be getting three new of the La Rouge Deep Velvets. Those are the ones in the red case. I'm going to get those for sure. So absolutely love those. One of my all time favorite lipstick formulas is the Deep Velvet. So it is my favorite velvet formula actually. So I'll definitely be picking up those shades. I can't wait to try them out. And then from Dior, these are already out now, but I did want to address them because I've had some questions as to whether I'll be reviewing these. And we have the Dior um, New Blush in On Rose. It's number 416. And there are two new quints. We have 503 Bal Masque and 803 Rose Du Soir. I pass on these. I'm, I actually really like the Ball Masque. Like that looks gorgeous. Looks like it might be similar to soft cashmere. But, um, you know, I've seen a few swatch photos. It looks like it's a little bit warmer than soft cashmere. I'm going to pass on them because I'm just, I don't love the new formula and I'm very happy with soft cashmere. It's close enough that I don't need to get this new uh, quint here, but I think it's a gorgeous color story. That's definitely the one that really called to me. And then last up from Natasha Denona, we have a new mini coming out on August 15th. This is the mini Starlet and it's supposed to be nudes and mauves. So I am very curious about this. And I think it looks really pretty. I wanna see how this compares to the mini retro. Um, I'm definitely planning on grabbing this one. So I hope this was helpful. I'd love to know which of these releases interests you. If you've seen photos of things uh, that I didn't address here, I did a video, a will I buy a video a couple of weeks ago, um, or maybe it was longer than that, with some of the additional you know, launches that have been coming out. I didn't want to repeat. So, you know, I'll leave that linked down below in case there's something in particular that you are looking for. Uh, but overall, I have to say, we've got some good things coming out. Happy to see that. You know, a lot of these are going to be fall collections. I'm curious to see where we're, we're going to be going with holiday this year. Um, but I think overall, you know, this was a pretty good batch of batch of products. So Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, thank you to WZ Beauty and my beauty talk and all of you for watching, supporting, providing information and helping me out. So thank you so much. I appreciate it so much and I hope this was helpful. So have a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon.